Last week I showed you how easy it is to grow your own fresh herbs at home. We had a decidedly Mediterranean flavour to that planter, but this week we're staying with the healthy eating theme. We've moved towards salad flavours that you can grow in a pot at home to round that meal out. So I've headed back into my local garden centre and I'm getting all the goodies required for my next project. Now the very first thing you should do when you get into your local garden centre is check out the pottery section. There's always a huge range and you've got the traditional styles, but you've also got some real contemporary stuff like this. Or this here, which is amazing engineering. If you have a look inside, it's actually fibre cement. This sort of pot is incredibly tough. In fact, a lot tougher than most ceramic pots. And here's the thing. It's lightweight, really easy to handle. And it doesn't blur or blemish. The colours do not fade. And that's the great thing about it. Doesn't even matter if it's outside and you're getting mould and mildew. These pots look great all year round. For this project, I've gone for these stylish plastic pots. Now, I've got two of them again. It's an old trick, but it allows you to rotate the plants in and out of your kitchen providing you with an endless supply of fresh greens to complement dishes. My planting theme this week is all about peppery flavours and some sweet as well. I'll explain that a bit later. I'm starting off with this one though. This is Mizuna and it comes in two different colours, a red and a green. And you can see the gorgeous serrated foliage of this plant. It's highly edible, it's from Japan, makes the most amazing salads. Nasturtiums look great and taste great. Whether you're adding the flowers for sweetness or the leaves for a peppery spice, they also cascade out of a pot and add the spill factor. You just can't go wrong. The theory with multi-planting edible pots is to thrill, and that comes in different foliage and colours like Mizuna, to spill, and that's with the nasturtiums, and to fill, and that's going to be with this land cress. Now, it's a great additive to any salad. It's peppery, crunchy and delicious. Best of all, it's really easy to grow. Now, what you need to know about these is that they're incredibly productive plants. They're expending huge amounts of energy to produce all this foliage that you're consuming. So you end up with all the goodness in it. And that means that if you want them to remain strong and growing, well, really healthy, you need to be putting more fertiliser and nutrient back into the soil. And that's where a specialised liquid fertiliser like this and just a gentle watering in over the top of the foliage, which is where a lot of this is absorbed, and in around the root system makes the world of difference to the results that you'll get long term. And now is the time to be making sure that you're feeding these plants because we're in optimal growing conditions.